I'm Martha Windish from Personalized Dog Training and I'm going to teach you about puppy testing. Puppy testing was developed by Clarence Pfaffenberger in the 1930s at Guide Dogs for the Blind in California. He developed the puppy test to evaluate certain characteristics desirable in a guide dog. The testing of puppies became well known after Mr. Pfaffenberger published his book, The New Knowledge of Dog Behavior. Other tests have since been developed by other trainers such as Bill Campbell, Michael Fox, Wendy Volhard, and Susan Clothier. Puppy testing is used by good dog breeders in order to place puppies in the right home so they are likely to stay in that home for life and not end up in a shelter or rescue. It is important that a puppy buyer understand how to shop for a good dog breeder and the testing process a good dog breeder should go through prior to selling a puppy. As you learn about puppy testing, you will see a high energy golden retriever puppy being tested using a test similar to that used by Guiding Eyes for the Blind in Yorktown Heights, New York. A good breeder cares where her puppies end up, places puppies in good homes to the best of her ability where they will remain for life, does careful breeding and has the breed's required health clearances for the sire and dam, cares about the temperament, bone structure, and appearance of the dog she breeds, handles, well socializes, and even starts to house train and provides some positive reinforcement training of the puppies, and has a puppy buyer sign a contract which, among other things, indicates that the breeder is willing to take a dog back if the dog cannot remain in its home. Puppy testing can provide a breeder a useful glimpse of each puppy's potential. It offers a fairly objective evaluation of the puppy's behavior and temperament at around 49 days of age. With puppy testing, puppies are evaluated individually instead of in the litter since group behavior is very different from individual behavior. Puppy testing helps a breeder match each puppy to the best home. Often people want the pick of the litter. While individual puppies within a litter may be quite different from each other, the pick of the litter concept is subjective. Each puppy has different strengths and weaknesses, thus the pick should be defined by what purpose the pick is to be used for. Most puppies sold in the U.S. are first and foremost family companions. For puppies destined to be family companions, there will always be many picks of the litter because each puppy will be the best pick for a particular household. Puppy testing allows puppies to get a home that appreciates their unique qualities and allows puppy buyers to get the dog they have wished for. Puppy testing rules. The test must be done by a stranger to the puppies, not the breeder. The test must be done and interpreted by a skilled and experienced tester familiar with canine development and behavior and with a breed being tested. The tester must understand how to match test responses with qualities needed in a home. It is not recommended for potential puppy buyers to test puppies. The puppy should be tested no earlier than 49 days of age since this is when the puppy's brains are neurologically complete. The test location must be new to the puppies and not too distracting. The test must be done out of sight of the dam, the litter mates, and other dogs. The test should not be done after puppies are fed, or the puppies are in sleeping or resting mode, or after the puppies have been subjected to stressful events such as vaccinations. The testing must be consistent for each pup. If the results don't agree with what the breeder expects, the pup should be retested 24 to 48 hours later. The testing procedure should neither encourage nor discourage the puppy's responses. Testing should be neutral without preconceived notions about the litter or the individual puppies. The tester should look at the whole puppy paying attention to the pup's overall attitude and energy level instead of just looking at the individual test responses. Besides the tester, a knowledgeable person needs to score the behaviors and take descriptive notes. Puppy testing is not for evaluation of adult dogs. There are temperament tests for adult dogs, but those are beyond the scope of this program. In conclusion, even though it is debated whether puppy testing can predict how a puppy will turn out as an adult, information provided by puppy testing can be viable to best place each puppy and to determine if a particular puppy needs additional socialization prior to placement. Puppy tests are more accurate when paired with a breeder who is intimately familiar with the pup's bloodlines and who has detailed observations on each puppy in addition to the test results. Unfortunately, puppy tests given to pups from unknown bloodlines leave a lot of room for error. Correctly done, puppy testing will allow each puppy to be placed in the home that is able to nurture him or her in the best possible manner. Thank you for viewing Learning About Puppy Testing. 